Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Katie. We're at Turnstone World Headquarters today to show you how to assemble a bivy depot. The depot comes in three sizes. The depot, which is a one high, the big depot, which is a two high, and the bigger depot, which is actually a two high with um, a one high on top. Now this works great as a bookcase, a room divider, and it lines up with the bivy table perfectly to um, store all of your stuff you need while you're working. That's great. So before we get started, just a couple things we need you to know. One, bivy comes uh, in a really simple set of things. Uh, basically, finished wood pieces, and then a couple connective pieces that we want to show you how to put in. So the first is this, <laughs> that, cam lock. And a cam lock simply goes in. You want to show that, Katie? Sure. The cam lock has two little arrows on it. One of them shows you which way you're going to be turning this, and the other one points straight up, and that one you want to line up the little arrow with the hole that's in the wood. So this will just pop right in like that. And you just want to make sure that the arrow is facing. The second connector is this little cam pin. Cam pin's kind of cool. It has a green sleeve around the outside that allows us to hold it securely while we tighten it with either a screwdriver or a power driver. The pin is actually going to go into these pre-drilled holes. If you see, there's two holes. In order to know where the pin goes, you can kind of take a cue from where the cam lock is. The cam lock is always going to face down. And um, if the shelf is facing down, the pin is going to go on the, in the outside hole. Now if we turn this around, we've already put some of the pins in, you can see that this is going to be facing up, so the pins are on the inside, on the inside holes. So before we get started, I just wanted to point out one more important thing. Each piece is labeled with a letter. That letter corresponds with a stage of your installation directions and helps identify the piece you're working on. That's kind of important and allows you to refer back and forth. Now before we go any farther, we're going to insert the cam pins into the surface of this board, just like Katie described, and then we'll be ready to put it together. Now notice that we have the side facing up here as the cam connector. Again, that means that it'll be eventually in a downward facing position. And so when it's down, we use the outward holes in the board. So we have all our connectors in and we're ready to put in vertical dividers. We'll do two on this side, flip it, two on the other side, then the end pieces and we'll be ready to bring everything together. So let's have a vertical divider there. Something to notice that's really important is there's three unfinished edges on the divider and one finished edge. You align the finished edge on the divider with the horizontal piece. So finished, finished, click it into place, and then tighten it down. Now one thing you want to notice is just like on this piece how there was an outside and inside hole to put the pin, the same goes for these. There's cam locks that are closer together and some that are farther apart. So you just want to make sure you're lining those up right with the pins. Now our next divider. Again, finished edge, finished edge, goes in place, tighten down. As soon as we get this tightened down, we're ready to flip it. So let me just flip this, Katie. Great. And we'll need two more dividers. Okay, I'm just gonna look. You have the finished edge on your side now. Awesome. Finish to finish. So, verticals, horizontal, we're ready for the ends. First thing we're going to do is flip it. Why? Because we can't see our cam locks and the cam locks are going to engage at either end here. So this is a side. Sides are conveniently finished outer and back, so it doesn't really matter, but line up your finish with your finish and just insert it into the holes here. Tighten down. My side's done too. Good to go. Now we're ready to make magic happen. We're going to put the bottom on, then the back, then the top. We'll have something to store things in. So we're going to start with the bottom. Everything right now is upside down and we're going to leave it that way. How do I know? Because I'm seeing the tops of the cam connectors. 
and it's easy to assemble upside down, so let's take the bottom, put it on, and then we'll flip it. One thing you notice as you put the bottom on is there are glides. It comes pre-assembled with the glide, so you know that's the bottom. And then on the business side of it, so to speak, notice that there's a row of cam pins. Those cam pins go on the unfinished side, the side I'm actually looking at here, or the back interior of the shelf. So let's put that together. Katie, I think it helps if you put that end in and then I'll hold this end and guide it as you bring it along this way. Okay. So, all right, I'm all lined Ready? up. Ready? A little bit. Oh. And we're in place. Now we're going to tighten from the inside out, starting with the outer panels here. Well, we're ready to flip it over, put on the back, then the top, we'll have something to store things in. So I'll flip it over, Katie, if you want to grab the back. I'm just going to lay it down gently on the floor here, flip. We'll be putting this in with the cam lock facing me. Nestles right in there, dropped in place. Nice. I'll reach in here and tighten from the inside. All right, back's on, we're ready for the top. Top goes on the same way as the bottom did. Everything lines up. How's it looking there, Katie? Perfect. Yep, this one is two. Nice and easy. And we'll tighten again. Now if you ordered a big depot, you'd be finished at this point. But we actually ordered a bigger depot. So if you look at the top, we have some extra holes here. That's because our single unit is gonna fit right on top of this. If you did order the big depot, you wouldn't have these extra holes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and assemble the unit that's gonna go on top, and then we'll come back and show you how to put it all together. Well, we've just built our final piece here. We'll wanna show you something here. Got two holes here, two there. They line up. Let's move this back a little bit. They line up with the two holes in the back of the case that we showed you earlier. You'll have a couple trim strips that we'll put to line up with these holes. One outer, another outer. Good. Now we line up the case right on top with the holes. You have Two connector pieces, you'll need a set each for the front and the back. We'll put those together in a minute. You'll also at this point need your hex driver to tighten things up. So let's tighten these guys down. Well, that's it. We've just created a Bivy Bigger Depot. Now you have a couple cosmetic steps here. One is to go around and peel off all the little letters that helped you along the journey. So make sure you get those off. And then we've supplied some little stickers here. If you don't like the looks of a cam cover, you can take these little stickers and uh, put them on every cam cover you see. We've added our finishing touches and now the Bigger Depot's finished. I think we'll get some stuff to put in it. Okay, let's go.